In Psalm 60, David makes a very bold statement. He says this, vain is the salvation of man. Let's talk about this phrase, vain or empty is the salvation of man. See, everyone agrees that something is broken in the world. That part's easy. What people don't agree on is what is going to restore our brokenness. David here says that all the plans of man for restoration are vain. They are empty. We will not be saved by any of the schemes that we've come up with. And make no mistake, our culture is offering us salvation in many different forms. Vote for this person. He'll restore us. Make this change to your diet and you'll be secure in your own skin. Hit this milestone in your career and you'll be satisfied. Or if you, if you buy this product, our product, you will have a delightful family and a fantastic sex life. Find your one true love and you'll live happily ever after. These plans, these forms of salvation are empty. And, and David says, vain is the salvation of man. It doesn't matter who your president is, what you eat, who you marry, how fat your bank account is, or even if you follow your heart to the nth degree, you will never experience salvation. Plans of man can never give true significance, security, or satisfaction. They will not redeem, they will not restore, they will not make you ultimately happy. They are empty promises. The good news of the gospel of Jesus is that for every empty promise of man, there's an empty tomb that is full of promise. Jesus' empty tomb is our only true promise of salvation. God is the one who can redeem, he can restore, he can save humanity. And through his resurrection, we have hope for our own resurrection in this life and the life to come.